guys, this is Christy Falk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Well, I have another Stampin' Up! sneak peek for you from the 2021 to 2022 annual catalog. This card was made with products in the hand penned suite. Another suite that I absolutely love. This is the second card I've made with my new goodies. And if you missed my first card, I made one using the Pansy Petal Suite. And you can click, if you want to see that video, click on that link that's going to pop up here in the top right corner or the link that I'll have down in the video description. Now, the neat thing with this are the colors. I love the colors. I love the designs in the paper. And don't worry, I'm going to show you all those products here in just a minute. I do want to let you know this is going to be my first online class of the new annual catalog. I don't have an online class going on right now, but starting May 4th when the catalog goes live, which is only about a couple weeks from now, I can't believe it, this year is flying by, um, you can, if you purchase this collection from me with the host code that I'll provide, then you'll get this class for free. The class comes with four cards, the supplies to make the four cards, two of them will be fun fold cards, <laughs> and um, I also have a PDF with the dimensions that you need, the information you need, uh, and there will be videos for you to watch to make the cards. And these projects will be exclusive to the class. No one else will see the videos or the projects. So if you're interested in that, make sure you come back May 4th to my website. And there's a link to my online classes below in the video description. Okay, you ready to see the beautiful products that are in the suite? Let's go. Okay, here is the bundle. This is the Star of the Suite Hand Penned Petals Bundle. So neat. Now you can always purchase these separately, but if you purchase the bundle, you save 10%. So the suite does include the bundle price, not the separate price, which is good. So you'll still save that 10% if you decide to get the whole suite. And I just love this. I love how their images, this is the one we're going to be using on the card, but these outline images have stamps that will color it in. Of course, you can color it in yourself with blends or watercolors or whatever you want to do. And I love the greetings. I love the fonts. And then these beautiful dies. Now, this one is pretty neat. This one right here, there's also a detailed one that you can do. And then you do the detail, and then you can uh, cut it out. It's just, I love that. I haven't used this one yet. I'm planning to very soon. And I will probably use that in the online class I was talking to you about there at the beginning of the video. I just love it. I love having the stitch scallop. And then there's even some flowers that you can die cut without stamping in leaves. So I love it when they do that too. So there's the bundle. Then there are also uh, Janelle, I think is how you say that, gems. I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> but they are so pretty. And hopefully you can see the colors in this. This is mint macaron. And this is uh, pale papaya, which is a new in color. So these are really pretty. They've got glitter inside. Two different sizes of each color. Really neat, and I'll be using those in the card. I'm actually using everything in the suite again. There are only three things in the suite. The suites are a little smaller than they used to be, which I, I like, because now they're not super expensive to get if you want to get everything in it. Now here is the beautiful uh, hand-penned uh, DSP. I couldn't think of the name there for a second. But aren't those gorgeous? I just love the watercolor look ones that they give us. Let me get you a little closer so you can see the images. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors in this too. That's Cinnamon Cider, Pool Party, there's Garden Green, Mint Macaron, Pool Party, and then there's Highland Heather, which I used in the card, and Daffodil Delight. I'm not sure if those are all the colors, but they're real close. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? And here's the other side for it. This is uh, the Mint Macaron color. Then we've got this one. I can't remember. I think the pink might be Blushing Bride. I think that's the pink. I'm not positive if I'm right about that. I think that's the other color I forgot. And pale papaya, I can't remember if I said, and that's pale papaya right there. And we've got this one, and this is the one I'm using on the card with this side. And we're going to be using both sides. I forgot to mention that in the card. I loved both of these sides, so that's, that's why I use both of them for my card. Then we've got this beauty. And I love how some of the colors aren't in all the designs, so that way you can get a totally different look with just one pack of DSP. I love it when they do that, and they do that in just about all of our packs. With this so that way you don't have the same look to all your cards a lot of versatility there's the daffodil delight side so I love how they're images on one side and then designs on the other floral images that is so that is everything in the hand pinned uh, petals I'm mean, sorry hand pinned sweet there's so many names to remember I'll get these straight one of these days so remember, if you purchase that from me starting May 4th using a host code, and I'm not sure what my deadline will be. I'll put that in the information when I get the online class up. But if you purchase that collection from me using that host code, 
you'll get my online class free for four cards, two of them being fun fold cards. Okay, are you ready to make this card? I know I am. So get your supplies together and I'll be right back to make it. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and get this card together, the base of it together. This is a Highland Heather card base, five and a half by eight and a half. We'll go ahead and fold this in half, line those corners up. That's the trick to uh, getting it folded in half. Oops, I just slipped. There we go. Grab my bone folder if I can get it out of my little dish over here. Get a nice crisp crease with my bone folder. Then you need to grab one of the uh, basic white pieces. It's four by five and a quarter because it takes two of them. Take one of them. We are going to grab the thanks and because this is a photopolymer set, I am going to grab, oops, I've still got my grid paper. I usually change that out. You can tell what I used last time in a video. <laughs> they have my grid paper. With it being photopolymer, you want to use the stamp and pierce mat underneath it. That gives the right support since there's no padding in the stamp. I'm taking my uh, Tuxedo Black Memento pad, inking that up, and I'm going to stamp it here in the bottom right corner. And when you, this one, it's kind of an angle. I'm making sure that A and N and the H are cut pretty straight. There we go. So there's the thanks. I just love that font. It looks like I wrote it. I can't write that good. I wish I could, but <laughs> okay. Now you want to grab two pieces of the, the DSP. This one is one and a half by five and a quarter. And this one, if I can get hold of it, is one and I'm sorry, two inches by four. So see, this is the same sheet of paper. I'm just using both sides. I love it when I can do that. So first off, let's go ahead and attach this one. Let me get this pad out of the way. Get my seal out. Make sure, I, a lot of times when it's this narrow of a strip, I go ahead and put it all the way across. And then just a couple little ones on the sides. Make sure the flowers are going upright. And we'll put it right about here. Make sure it's straight. Then we've got this one. Right across here. And I'm also gonna use some beautiful new ribbon. It's not in the suite but it will be available in a new catalog. Let me get this on first, and then I'll show you. It is gorgeous. It's Highland Heather Grow Green Ribbon, and it has a shimmer. It's half inch width. Isn't that gorgeous? I hope you can see the glitter in this. It is so pretty. And I've got a six inch piece and a five inch piece. So right now we're gonna use the six inch one. And I'm gonna grab some glue dots. I'm gonna put one on each end. And when you put um, glue dots on your ribbon, Push it down real tight, and then you'll have to help it up a little bit with your finger. Get one on this end. Once it's on the ribbon, it stays on. So this is, I think, holds it really well when I wrap it around. You want to have a little bit of DSP of this showing at the bottom. And just fold it around. Now, I do two different pieces. If you see my videos, you know I do this. It saves on ribbon. And I think it's easier to tie another thing on the on here. See, I saved at least that much ribbon. <laughs> and I just think it's easier too. So now that we've got that ribbon across there, we can go ahead and put this on the uh, card base to get both adhesive on the corners and here on the ribbon. And I'll put this right here. I am just in love with this DSP. It is gorgeous. I think, oh, I just love our DSP anymore. It's so pretty. When I started 18 years ago, and as I'm taping this, I just remembered my 18th anniversary is tomorrow. I am I can't believe I've been demo, demo that long. Haven't regretted one minute of it. I love it. Okay, so then now I've got this done, so let's go ahead and put this to the side. Let's get some stamping done. Okay, let's grab a piece of basic white again. This is three by three and a quarter, and we are going to stamp this flower on it. Let me grab my pierce mat again. I'm going to ink it up with my Tuxedo Black Memento. Okay, make sure it's all good and stamped. And then I will stamp it right there in the center. It doesn't have to be right in the center because we're going to die cut this out. So there we go. Now we're going to color it in with stamps. I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight ink pad, and I'm taking all of these colors out of the paper, the DSP. When I say DSP, it's designer series paper, in case you didn't know. 
Now, none of these line up perfectly, and that gives you that really pretty watercolor effect. It makes it look hand-penned like it's called. Like you look in here, you can tell that they don't match up the colored versions. So you're going to get that with the stamp. So just put it in best you can. There we go. You can see how there's white around it, but it'll, I just love that effect. I think it's so pretty. So don't fret that it doesn't match up because it's not supposed to. Then we've got our Highland Heather. I'm going to put this big one in. Once again, it's not going to line up perfectly, but I just get it as good as I can. There we go. And then the leaves are the same way. There are two different leaves in this set, so I'm going to use both of them. Use my Mint Macaron ink pad. And the larger one I'm going to use on most of the leaves here. This one here, this one here, and this one down here. Now with this one kind of hiding underneath the flower, I thought the little one worked the best because it's a little shorter. There we go. So now we've got those colored in. Now there is no um, think, stamp to color in that stem, but you really don't need it. I just grabbed my Mint Macaron stamp right marker. I'm just going to scribble, get the, try to get the same look, leave some white space, and then you're done. See, that just took me a few seconds. So don't try to color it in perfectly. Just have some little lines, and that makes it look like the rest of it. So that's ready to be die cut, but we are going to stamp that one more time. Grab the last um, Whisper White piece that's four by five and a quarter, because you had two of those. We're going to grab this. I always like to do the inside of my card, and that's what we're stamping here. Didn't used to, but now I do it all the time. I used to just do it when there was dark cardstock for the base, but now I do it all the time because this takes a few minutes and it makes the card look extra special. So I'm just going to do partial. I want to make sure those flowers are in there, though. I don't care if the leaves come off a little bit, but I want to show all those, those, both of those flowers. So we've got that there in the corner. Once again, we'll hurry up and stamp them with the same colors. My Daffodil Delight on this one. And then my Highland Heather on this one. And then the leaves. I don't know why. Close up that mint macaron. Let's get that open again. And then we've got, even when it's partial leaves, just line up the bottom. That way we get those colored in. There's a little bit of this one showing, so we'll go ahead and do that quick. And then we need the little one. Put that one. And then we'll color in that stem one more time. And if you don't want to bother with the stem, don't worry about it. Like I said, I just do it real quick. There we go. So that is ready to go for the inside. And I think that is all, yep, that's all the stamping we need to do. Let's go ahead and attach this to the inside of the card so we don't misplace it. I don't know about you, when I get to uh, making stuff, I'm throwing things everywhere, covering things up. And I don't wanna have to be looking for this. So go ahead and put this on the inside of the card and then you can write anything you want inside. Doesn't that just make the inside look special too? I love that. I'm gonna have so much fun coming up for projects for that online class. Okay, all of these dies that I'm using are small enough that I could use my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love this little guy. Now, just so you have a reference, this is the plate, the base plate that you put on with it. And let's measure this real quick. Forgot to do that before the video. You don't want your die to be any bigger than three and a half, or embossing folder, three and a half by Let's see, I think this is seven inches. Yeah, seven. So three and a half by seven is what this is. So if you have anything that's smaller than that, you can put it through this machine. And that includes your paper you use. Sometimes I'll use one of the smaller embossing folders, but I'm putting it on a four inch piece of cardstock and that's not gonna fit. So that's why I have to get my big one out. But I'm not doing any embossing in today, so we're gonna use this guy. Now let me move this up a little bit so you can see the bottom because this is the part you wanna see the most. Okay, first you wanna use the white base plate, which is number one. Then you want to take, I almost forgot, one of the little standard cutting plates, that's number two. Then we'll put this image on right here. I'm going to grab my die, forgot to tell you which dies to get out. The only die you're going to need out of this one is this one here. This is the one that uh, cuts this out. So we'll put that right here on top. I love how our dies line up now. So easy. Let's get that image. Oops. I was picking up my ruler and that's not what I want. Let me get this ruler out of the way. We're done with that. <laughs> I want my standard cutting pad. So let me get this back in place after I moved it. 
put this down nice and easy. I put it down just like I do with my big one. I kind of angle it up and then bring it down. And then we'll run it through. And voila, we have that perfectly cut image. Isn't that cool? Okay, now I do want to use one more thing. You want to get the last piece of basic white. This is three and a half by three and a half. Let me get this back over where it needs to be. And I am using a retiring die set that I am going to miss tremendously. Tremendously, It's the Stitch Shapes dies. You get four circles, four ovals, and four squares. Now, this is still available as I'm making this video, but they could sell out quickly. So make sure if you don't have these, you want to purchase them. I love them. And just you can go to my online store to order them and just click on the online store link below in the video description. But I, these are a must have. I use these all the time. Okay, I'm going to use the number three circle die. So the way I count, I start from the small, one, two, three. You can also say the second largest. Grab this three and a half by three and a half piece. So this is the largest piece that I can put in here. Actually, I didn't need it to be that long. I forgot, originally I had used the uh, smaller, I mean the larger circle, but I wanted the smaller one. So this could actually be more like a three, three quarter by three quarter piece of cardstock. If you don't want to waste your cardstock, put this through, and then we've got this. There we go. Sometimes you have to push this through because the stitching does hold it in. Sometimes that is all the die cutting we need to do. So I'll put this away and we'll finish the card. Okay, let's go ahead and attach my flowers to the circle. So I'm going to put a long one right across here. A little bit on this leaf. Now be real careful if you put some down here. Hold on to that stem. The first time I did this, I kind of did my little check and ripped off my stem. Don't want that to happen again. Okay, and then I'm going to put this right here in the circle. Kind of lay it down where I want it. I just needed a little bit of a base because I thought the, uh, you couldn't see the flower image real well. And I thought the circle just helps, helps you be able to see it better with all this designer series paper under it. Okay, now we'll go ahead and put some uh, dimensionals on here. And I'm going to kind of, I know I'm going to put it on like that. I kind of want to leave this middle section open because that's where it, the ribbon is. So I'll put four, let's see, I think three will be plenty. Grab my take your pick tool and take off all the paper. And I'm scooping that up. You don't just pop it up because it'll just stay on. You just kind of scoop it up. That makes it so I don't have all those papers all over my house. Okay, now we'll angle this, oops, angle this just a little bit. And I want to have a little bit of ribbon showing over here. Didn't want to hide that pretty ribbon. And there we go. Now we could stop there, because it looks fine there, but I want to have a little bit of a knot here. So this is that five inch piece I showed you beginning. Thread that underneath the attached one and tie it into a single knot. There's no need to do a double. And the other reason I like to do this is I can slide this around to where I want it. So I don't have to worry about getting it right in the right spot at first. I'm going to grab my scissors and cut this at an angle. Okay, now that we've got the ribbon on, we need to put our little gem on there. And I want to have my putty tip on here. Let me see if I can find that. Yep, there it is. I find that the putty tip makes it a lot easier to pick up gems. So I've got my little putty on there. Pick this up, scoot it so that way the glue dot comes up with you. Then you've got it on here. And we are going to put that in that flower center right there that gives a little bit of bling and it finishes that flower off. I just think that makes it look a lot better. So that was one of the mint macaron large ones. Well, I hope you enjoyed making the card. I know I did. If you want to stand with me again, make sure you click on the subscribe button below and then click on that bell icon that'll pop up and then select all. That way YouTube will notify you every time I have a video and you won't miss any. Now, if you like this hand pen suite as much as I do, I love it, then you will want to purchase this suite from me starting May 4th using a host code that I'll provide and you will get my hand penned online class for free. And that's going to include four cards, two fun folds, two regular cards. You will also get a PDF with all the information if you want to make the cards again and um, a video, two videos, exclusive videos. No one else will see these videos, just the ones that get the class. There will also be an option to just buy the consumable supplies and it'll be, that's, that's a U.S. resident only option. And then an option for anyone, anyone that lives worldwide can get my, get my video option. 
So just so you know about that, like I said, the online class link is below in the video description, and I'll have that up here in a few days. So I had a lot of fun making this, and if you do live in the United States and do not have a demonstrator of your own, I would love to be yours. Just contact me by clicking the contact me link below in the video description. And here are the two catalogs. If you would like to get these, I can mail these out to you. This is the annual catalog that starts May 4th, and this is the mini catalog that goes till the, uh, June 30th. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making this card with you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.